When entering in a purchase order uh, that uh, is in relationship to a purchase order or purchase order received in X3, the user will start by clicking on the new button in the upper left hand corner. Uh, the first field that's defined is the financial site. From there, the respective invoicing type will be defined. In the context of a standard purchase order that goes against a uh, purchase receipt, the PIN reference will be called upon. The document number um, is in relationship to the sort or system generated voucher number. The accounting date is going to govern the uh, period in which the activity will be posted. The supplier field houses the supplier identification number that the invoice is in relationship to. One's pay approval status could be changed at this point in time. If one wished to uh, set the payment status to a setting that would not allow for it to be paid, this can be changed during the entry process. Down on the controls tab, the date from the supplier's invoice can be specified. The supplier document number houses the uh, supplier's invoice number. The pay to and currency coder is going to default in from the supplier master, pay, as well as the payment terms and tax rules. In the event that the invoice um, was in relationship to some type of uh, prepaid expense that should be apportioned over a set number um, of accounting periods, this benefit period can be used to model that. Next on the lines tab is where one comes to specify the receiver that the purchase invoice is in relationship to. To see the list of open receipts uh, for the supplier, one can click on this receipt selection tray. Then in this list, um, one can click on the green cross to the left of the receiver to see the respective products that are yet to be billed for. Then by clicking on the white circle, those will, that will introduce all those details onto the right hand side. The receipt number, its line, product ID and description, the quantity uh, as well as the net price can be updated at this point in time if one's being billed for uh, at a price or for a quantity of goods different than what was received in upon. Uh, scrolling to the right, one has the charge to account that the from the general ledger that will be hit. In this type field, one can designate um, if it's a standard purchase or in relationship to a fixed asset or service. The tax rule default in from the product master. And those are going to be your primary fields on the line. Finally, on the control tab, one can come in in the invoice elements section and indicate as to whether or not there's any additional charges over and above uh, what one's being billed for the material. So if one wanted to capture some additional freight charges, you could select that code. Then both in the entry mount and the order footer mount uh, specify the uh, respective charges. Scrolling to the right, one can also see the GL account that's going to be hit for that transaction. Okay. So finally, one's going to wish to ensure that the um, billing amount from the invoice is in harmony with the purchase order amount. So back here on the controls tab in this invoice line section, one can specify the amount of the invoice. Upon doing so, you can click on the create button. Then to post this respective item, one can click on post.